I'm Jessica Sowers, owner of Body Bliss Connection. I'm Jamie Marich. I'm a clinical trauma specialist, expressive arts therapist, author, and co-founder of Yoga Unchained. I am also the co-founder of Yoga Unchained. Standing forward fold. So first, we'll discover our Tadasana or mountain pose. Deep connection through the feet, lengthen the spine. The core muscles wrapped around the spine to lengthen. On an inhale, let's sweep the arms up. Ensure that the knees are soft. Keep the belly active and on an exhale, forward fold. Stretching long, keep the spine long. The knees can continue to soften. And surrendering the back of the head and the arms down towards the ground. So a few things to think about here is the back of the neck. We want to relieve all tension, all strain out of that neck and just let the top of the head hang down towards the earth. The fingertips can dangle and reach towards the ground. They never have to connect. They can simply dangle. If that feels uncomfortable, then we can cross the arms and let each hand grasp the opposite elbow and let the elbows dangle towards the earth. The one big key point that we want to keep in mind are the knees. We want to ensure that those knees are not locked. We want to ensure that they're soft. And for those who feel more comfortable with a little deeper bend into those knees, that's perfectly fine. That's a great option to have here. So Jamie will release her arms, pull the belly in, and roll the spine all the way up mm. to standing. <sighs> How did that feel, Jamie? I always love the way this makes me feel in my lower back, especially mm -hmm. in this moment. Uh, for me, it's like an adjustment, mm. uh, particularly if I do this as one of my first poses of the day. It's often common for me to hear some cracks and pops, but <laughs> to yes. me it knows things are getting back into place. Mm. Uh, so I, I really do enjoy this pose. Um, I, one thing I want to note for the video, I'm glad that I was able as a larger person to demonstrate this to you because I think if you see some yoga photography online which yeah. tends to skew towards skinnier bodies the forward fold is like you have to be perfectly touching but if your chest is larger no it's not going to look pristine but no. the key is how does it feel in your body if you're following the cues are you getting the benefits of the feeling well and that's just it it's about how it feels in your body not about what it looks like we don't want to try to mimic a pose we don't want to try to mimic a picture it is about the experience that your body's having in the posture. That's the most beneficial thing that you can. Mm -hmm. And one of the bigger benefits of that is learning how to tune in to the clues that the body's giving you right. and listen to the experience that your body's having. So what's your usual experience with? I really enjoy forward fold. Forward fold. It's a really good posture for me in my body. Um, it really lengthens my spine. It helps to relieve that low back tension that I tend to get. Um, it creates a little extra space in my sacrum, which is right above the tailbone and below the waistline there. Um, it helps to create a little extra space so I can feel a little more movement mm -hmm. in my body. Um, so forward fold is a beautiful posture for me. Do you often use this as part of a warm-up type sequence when you bring people to their feet? I do. I usually start on the ground um, and then build up, but it's a big, powerful posture to mm -hmm. use as a warm-up if you start standing as well. The other thing to think about, too, is any kind of standing postures, they're very strong and powerful. We've got our core engaged a lot. So a forward fold is a very releasing mm -hmm. posture and can be a very good thing to build in between some more uh prominent peak poses if you will so one of the biggest modifications that you can do is start to come into that forward fold keep this belly active soften the knees and let the hands or the forearms come to rest on those thighs and then you can decide to keep the head elevated so you're looking down at the ground or even looking up towards the horizon or let the head drape down so it's going to depend on what your particular body is feeling like in that moment. But those are a couple of options where you're still getting that slight inversion um, and being able to release that low back a little. And let's talk about the wall variation. Mm -hmm. So the wall variation is another option that we have. We want to make sure that our heels are a couple inches away from the wall and we'll gently lean against that wall. Inhale, sweep the arms up and exhale forward fold. So we allow our hips to rest against that wall. And this may help to comfort or create a little bit more of a sense of security for an individual. Go ahead, soften the knees and roll your body back up to standing. It allows um, 
our minds to perhaps notice that nobody can come behind us mm -hmm. and it's like the wall kind of has our back it's giving us a little support back there an extra element of grounding and support indeed yeah. so mm -hmm. thank you for joining us for forward fold thank you